Good evening, everybody. This is Meredith. I am following through on a couple requests I had from you guys to start doing a series of videos on finishing techniques, construction, just general costuming, historical clothing stuff. Because you've paid me the awesome compliment of wanting to have garb vaguely like mine, which is amazing, and I appreciate the compliment. So, with that said, we are going to start this whole little series by doing cartridge pleats for 16th century clothing. It is a pleating technique that gets used for several hundred years on since then, but this is my favorite way of attaching my skirts, frankly. So, I am not a math person. So we are going to be looking at the classic divide the pleats down and down and down in half until we get the depth that we like. And then we're going to whip stitch it all together because that's what they did. So on the front of the bodice, we are going to be looking at, I've already done this half, on the front of this bodice because we want to keep some of the skirt out of the way for the person that's going to be wearing it. We're actually going to start the pleating at about the, the high hip just as the bodice starts to come around. So I need to figure out how far down the bodice that is on this side. So it's symmetrical. Let's see here. Goes right there. That's where our first pleat's going to be. So one thing you might want to keep in mind is the skirts, the top of the skirts on these should actually almost have a very elongated V taken out of them. And it's going to come to a point and that's where the center point of your bodice is supposed to be. So let's go ahead and pin this together. And we are just going to do a straight whip stitch along this deep pointed front section of the bodice. That's going to give us that swoop and make it a little bit easier for my friend to walk around in her dress. Now, well, the part that you guys have all been waiting for would be our cartridge pleats. So we've got all of this fabric that we're going to be pleating into this little section. So first things first, we're going to find the middle section on our bodice. And we're going to mark that middle point on the remaining pleat section with a pin. And on the bodice, you're going to keep doing that in halves. And we just keep working this in half and half and half. And that lets us divide the proportions down without having to worry about the fabric wiggling. I mean, fabric has stretch and movement to it. So for me, at least, measuring these things down with a tape measure and calculating it specifically usually does not work for me. If it works for you, awesome. Go on with your bad self and keep doing that. So now that we have marked that bottom edge with our middle points, we are going to be dividing the skirt in half and having that meet up with the middle pin that we just marked. Ta-da! Leaving us two big pockets. Hopefully this is making sense to you guys. And we're going to divide this in half. You want to make sure you have the same number of pleats on both sides of your skirts. Uh, the asymmetry thing is not really a 16th century aesthetic unless you're a Swiss soldier. Those guys liked it. So Now we have these four little poops, or poofs, poofs, with pleats. Yay! We're going to divide these in half again because that's sort of the height or the depth I like my pleats to be when I'm done. 
And we're gonna divide each of these in half one more time and just stick a pin in the middle. Um, this, this pleating method is something you really need to do by hand. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like hand sewing. This is not an attachment method that you want. So if you can figure out how to do this on a machine without ending up with a giant ridge line that kind of digs into your waist, let me know. That sounds like it would be really interesting. But for me, I find it's just as easy to do it with handwork as it is on the machine. All right. You're almost there. Once I get these last couple pins done, I will flip this back up for the camera. So you get a better view again. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this right now. I know I probably should be folding it a half again and marking it specifically. But usually I'm trying to get these done so quickly that that little sixteenth of an inch squish room would end up moving around on us anyway. So this is what your pleats are gonna look like once they're pinned together. And for this section, we're now going to whip stitch along this edge to make sure everything gets attached to your bodice. Um, here's the straight edge from the point up to about that hip side, side hip area, all the way down to the side back of the Florentine bodices from the 16th century. And We'll go from there. I'm going to stop or I'm going to fast forward a bit. So hang tight. 